Well, declining enrollment can force communities into tough decisions, and often that means shutting down school buildings. It happened in Farmington Hills after the 2019 school year when Harrison High School closed permanently. Tonight, I want to bring you along for a look at the next chapter. Harrison's incredible championship legacy on the football field is preserved along with all the athletic fields, but inside the former high school building, it's a new beginning. Welcome to the Hawk, Hello. the 245,000 square foot Farmington Hills Community Center located on a 42 acre campus now open to residents and non-residents alike. You walk in the doors and you see the aquatic center. You see a nice seating area. Everything is just perfect from, from what we're hearing. That early positive feedback of the building's transformation is gratifying for Brian Farmer, who oversees the operation of the new center. Circuit training, which is uh, very popular right now. While the aquatic center grabs your attention immediately with its zero depth entry pool, water slide, lazy river, zip line and climbing wall, we also explored the rest of the massive space, starting with the 764 seat theater, which is being utilized now for a summer camp. It will also be home for the theater program, as well as concerts. Basketball and volleyball will keep the three court gymnasium busy. And during our visit, class was in session in the large second floor dance studio. Right arm, left arm. Well, evidence of uh... The past still the lockers, yeah, right. still exists. The work of local artists will be featured prominently throughout the building. Expanded programming for the arts is possible with the size of the building. It's a dream come true, really. This is a very supportive community um, for the arts, and um, we've just never had enough space. The fitness center is also certain to be a big draw. Omari Kroom and his fiance LaShawn are already putting the equipment to the test. I love it so far. It's really nice. I would say some of the best like services I've ever seen, honestly. The way the weight room and everything is set up, everything is state art brand new. When completed, this will become a maker space, a community workshop filled with tools and technologies to make things. A grant for more than a half million dollars from the Bosch Community Fund will help equip and support the program for three years. You can come here and pay a, a small day fee to be able to cut some wood and take it home and you don't have to buy the saw. Yeah. The building's roughly $24 million renovation cost is being paid for through a bond with no tax increase for residents. Program revenue plus general fund monies and partnerships will cover operating costs for the facility. We're very proud of the decisions our administration has, has made, our city management. Turning the necessary closure of a school building into an asset the entire community can now enjoy. It is a beautiful space, uh, what they've done with it. And uh, long after the school doors close, there's life in that building. So amazing. I mean, I know your kids went there. My kid ran track on that field. What yeah, a wonderful a lot, way a lot of good to memories transform there. it. And it's great that it's going to continue as well. And my wife and I just bought pickleball. I don't know if they're called paddles or mallets or rackets. But look out, Hawk fans, we're coming for you. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yeah, All it's right. going to be a big hit, I think, in the community uh, longing for a facility just like this. I even like the name, too, the Hawk. Yeah, That's kind of cool. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I think there'll be a tribute to a lot of what happened in the high school there, yeah, too. Absolutely. Beautiful.